All right, I think it's time for the full tour. I am, God, 93, 94% done. Uh, let's start at the back, in case you haven't been with me all along. I have uh, an aluminum um, frame with Velcro on the outsides. It, the frame snaps together using um, these little push button things. Let me see if I can pull one apart real quick. They're hard to get apart, but anyway, so they come apart. So there's um, five bars all together, six bars, whatever. Um, this one is permanently attached here, and I just leave those uh, this connector in. There we go. So you're gonna see how this works. I just leave that connector in there, and um, the bars, when I'm not using them, get stowed under the bed. Um, get the floors installed. <clears throat> This is all stuff that I did uh, over the last four days getting ready for a trip to Florida and then the Outer Banks. Um, things that I added to the back, um, well let me start with the very back. I have a solar light right here that uh, is a motion detection light. Um, I added these recessed D-rings here and here and these cables. Um, these attach with a uh, a screw hook thing. I can't remember what the hell you call those. Um, so I can release these and then the, the, the ramp will become a ramp instead of a deck. Um, but 99% of the time I will use it as a deck like it is now. Um, I added these uh, barrel clips, barrel bolts, whatever you want to call them. Um, and I'll show you what the function of those is in a little bit. Uh, moving forward, um, wireless uh, rear-facing camera for when I'm driving uh, allows me to see traffic behind me. Allows me to back into spaces a lot easier. Um, it does okay. The reception's not the aw most awesome, but it works. Um, all right, still at the back. Um, two power outlets: one for a cigarette lighter, one for USB style. I gotta straighten that. Um, and then two more cigarette lighter style USB style ones up here. Um, the idea putting these here was that I'd have a place to charge my stuff at night when I'm laying in bed. But unfortunately, when the ramp is closed, you can't fit anything in these. So these are good for when the ramp is down and you want to charge your phone or whatever, or plug in an uh, air compressor, whatever goes in there. Um, secret little, well it's not going to be a secret now, secret little compartment underneath there. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll keep in there, but I can stuff stuff in there. Just I want to keep it a little more uh, concealed. Uh, moving inside, um, this plank here stows like that when I raise the door. Uh, speaking of raising the door, let me, let me raise the door and I'll come back to you. If I raise the door, I should probably mention that the... Uh, the aluminum frame for the screen room is going to have a um, nylon tent style uh, roof on it and um, it'll have uh, a nylon skirt around the bottom and um, Velcro will attach you know, to the skirt and then to the verticals etc. So um, to raise the door I can do it from the inside or the outside. There we go. Okay, so these barrel bolts serve two functions. Number one, um, they're extra security, so I can lock the door from the inside by pushing them like that. And then if somebody tries to get in, they can't get in. So even if they do manage to cut the locks on the back door, they can't get in. Um, the next added benefit of these, I'm not gonna replace this one because it's a little loose, but um, Oops, it won't even fit. Drilled holes in the side rails here. Let me show you on this one because this one I know works because I had it done earlier. So when I'm camped, when I'm parked overnight in a, in a parking lot or whatever, I can uh, I can set that up to give me some airflow. Uh, as long as it doesn't rain, I get some good airflow overnight. Um, and uh, it also acts as a, as an emergency exit because. Um, 
somebody could lock the um, the bar bolt or the the crossbar on the main door, they wouldn't have any way to get out if if they did that. They could lock me in. So by using this, um, they wouldn't be able to. They wouldn't be able to latch this because the door is in the way. So if they did try, they're not gonna they're not gonna get that to latch in there because, and especially not gonna get that one. So and I would hear them by the time they started doing any of that. So little added security, little extra benefit of some some air movement. Uh, I'm gonna put this down so we have better light. Okay, um, continuing continuing inside. Um, added steps to help me get in and out of bed. There's one here and there's one here. Um, those won't help Endo, of course, but they'll help me. Um, screens on this door and the main RV door up front. Um, added the uh, tile to the uh, side ramp door here and the aluminum framing went back on there. The only aluminum framing I could get back on this door was around this edge, um, but uh, I think it looks okay. The only the only source, source spot is this right here and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that. It's too small to put a tile and um, really not much I can do about it. Um, the next feature is my uh, little cubby for the bike forks. So you can see I could probably fit three or four bikes across there. Um, and then this I can just set here when I have bikes in. Um, and the bikes, because I recessed the, hand, the, the front ends like that, um, the bikes will fit under the bed. And since I mentioned the bed, let's get to the bed. So I have. Um, a latch on each side for the uh, legs and I'm going to put you down so I can put this yeah, you should be able to watch me all right so legs are free and then a latch here latch here and the bed comes down so uh, as you can see I don't have any bedding that matches the uh, interior yet but I'll get there um, it's it was a queen mattress six inch memory foam uh, that I cut down and I cut it down because the table which flips up over here um, I wanted a good sized table something big enough to put my laptop and a monitor on and if I had done that um, with the queen size bed I think I cut off about a foot um, I wouldn't have been able to squeeze through here, but now because I'm a skinny dude, I can, I can squeeze through there no problem. Um, TV is on a swivel, so I can watch it when I'm sitting up front, or I can watch it when I'm in bed, or I can even swivel it outside and watch it from the beach or wherever, camping, whatever I'm doing. Um, <clears throat> sound bar up there. Um, I need to find a better solution for the cord. I think I'm going to hardwire it. It takes a five volt DC um, power source. So I think I can hardwire that. Um, I have plenty of 12 volt up, up there. Um, I have 110 here and 110 here. My interior light switches are all there, and you can see they provide plenty of light. Um, let me put the bed back up. So this table flips down by pressing on the hinges underneath. It flips down. It's supposed to go all the way down, but I have it mounted a little crooked, so it doesn't quite go all the way down. I can fix that. Back up. Um, under the bed is my toy chest. 
Um, this space right now is just full of my tools and such. Uh, this is where I'll keep the kites, um, <clears throat> light stuff in the back of the trailer, keep all the weight up front so that it tows better. Uh, there are lights underneath there and I can control the lights from here or from here. Um, and then the two middle bays, you're going to see, I got just stuffed all my tools in here so I can make this video. Um, I have a shelf in there. Um, I can basically put whatever the hell I want in there. Um, probably use one for clothes and the other one for um, workout stuff. Um, one of the nice things about having a trailer as opposed to the van is that I don't have to worry about rattles because there's nobody in here when I'm driving it. And when it's sitting still, there's nothing that's going to make it rattle. So that's nice. Um, all right, continuing forward, um, one of the other unfinished things that I have to do is I'm going to attach a drawer slide to this so that it will slide out like that. It'll stop it right about there, give me a little extra counter space, and still let me use both sinks. So the other sink has a lift-off lid, great little cutting board. Um, the whole countertop is cutting board material. I have hot and cold running water. Um, the water heater is a tankless water heater and it is right down there. I have my gray water tank. Um, I have right now the uh, the tankless water heater is connected to that green bottle right there but I do have a large propane bottle that I'm going to run hose to um, and that sits up front. I'll show you that in a second. My convection toaster oven. Over here I have drawers. Uh, silverware etc and, and the tiny drawer up top and you know their drawers stuff's in them um, not sure what I'm gonna do with this section right here I meant to paint it when I was painting but didn't and so now I have a choice to make as to what color I want to paint it I could leave it white I could paint it the, uh, the brown that's on the walls we'll see um, I do want to replicate the white frame that's on the bed down here just for continuity um, some hooks here for miscellaneous stuff um, more storage up overhead here need to figure out something to do to hold these up in place maybe do those little piston things to hold them in place or maybe um, a latch oops you weren't even looking maybe a latch right here that will hook up to something on the ceiling um, haven't decided yet uh, there are lights up there. I got to push that back up in there. So there's lights up there that are controlled by this switch here um, Yeah, so four doors uh, the propane bottle is in here and I can run the hose down under the trailer and then back up under the sink um, Let's see this is all bench seating uh, it's a little taller than most benches, um, but I'm tall and it, it actually gets my feet off the floor. So that's something that I'm not used to being six foot two. Um, what else? Uh, so my, my electrical is all under here. I have a uh, battery charger that uh, can connect to shore power to charge my batteries. I have an, uh, 4,000 watt inverter, I think. Um, but it's not a pure sine wave inverter. It's modulated, so I can't plug a laptop into it or anything. Uh, but I can plug the laptop into the 12 volt, so it's all good there. Um, there we go. Over here, I have my batteries, and then my uh, fresh water. Uh, 35 gallons of fresh water and then in here latch here holds that closed and then this is my fridge drawer uh, the Dometic 65 quart um, it'll run on 12 volt or 110 or 120 whatever the hell it is what household um, right now it's in the house and it's full um, because I was about to go on a trip. Um, 
Let's see what else. Oh, my, my freshwater fill is here, so I don't have any um, anything on the outside indicating that it's an RV, really. Uh, these side windows are about the only indication that it's not just a uh, landscaping trailer or whatever. Um, let's see. Let's go outside. What else do we have? Oh, I have a hook there and another hook over here that hold a shade sail. Um, there's pictures of that on the website already. Um, I have a hook here that holds the door so it doesn't uh, close automatically, uh, the wind doesn't blow it closed. Oh, I wanted to show you the, somebody could lock me in. So if I was parked and, whoops. I was parked overnight and everything was closed up. Somebody could very easily walk over, push this bar in, push that down, and boom, I'm locked in. I got no other way out other than if I had that uh, that barrel bolt um, I had with the, with the back ramp open a little bit. So that's a little security precaution there. Uh, let's see. Around the front. Oh, I have an electric uh, um, jack, so I don't have to hand crank the, to level it. Uh, leveling gauge here, and another one on the back. Um, I have uh, four scissor jacks, which um, you know go underneath, and, and I can raise it up and level it that way if I'm going to be camping somewhere for any length of time. Uh, I have another LED light here. Uh, it's motion detection. I have 300 and 380 watts of solar on the roof, and I have the max air fan um, on the roof too. Um, that max air fan moves a lot of air. If uh, if it's running and you close up all the doors, you can hear the the sound of the fan change. It kind of like strains to move any air because this thing is sealed up so tight. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to show you. I think that's it, as if that's not enough. Um, I do have plans for um, some, some uh, crown molding around the top and uh, a special LED light installation related to that. Uh, more on that later. And I'm going to do um, pontoon boat style seats on, on the uh, seating area. So there'll be... Uh, finely stitched and, and look nice and match the colors of the walls. I'll do a, a you know, this, the light color is called cinnamon roll. So I'll do a cinnamon roll and then I think the other one's sienna red or something like that. Um, and then I will, of course, put some kind of molding here, here, and here to hide those ugly spots. But other than that, I am very close to being done. I got to put the trim back around the, uh, the ceiling fan. Got any questions? Leave them in the comments. Happy to answer them. I just thought of one other thing that I needed to show you. So I have a, um, a thermostat. Uh, I guess it's just a thermostat here. And yes, it is really 89 degrees or almost 90 degrees here today. And um, battery monitor. So um, the thermostat um, is uh, the sensor for the thermostat is over here under the um, where the refrigerator is and then I have a hole cut out here that I have that I'm going to install a um, 12 volt uh, computer fan and anytime the um, thermostat reaches a certain temperature it'll kick on the fan and move some air around there so that my refrigerator doesn't overheat um, and then the, uh, the battery uh, monitor is a holdover from the Sprinter van. Uh, I don't need it now because I have the solar and I can just look on my phone and see what the battery is doing. But uh, I thought I have it, I'll install it and you know, who knows, maybe it'll come in handy if I can't find my phone or whatever and I want to know what the uh, battery state is. Uh, so that's it.